Ah, and the award for worst puppy introduction ever goes to... <laughs> <laughs> so that was Coco and Sky meeting for the first time almost four years ago now. Obviously, it did not go the way we had hoped. You always see like those cute, wholesome videos online and that's what we were expecting. Yeah. But not anything what we got. When we got Kakoa, we flew across the country to New York to pick her up, which means Sky was at home with the sitter for two full days. Okay, we just got her. On the day we came home, we had a three hour drive to the airport and a six hour flight home. So Kakoa had had a really long day. All right, so some context to them meeting. We didn't land until about midnight, which means we didn't get home until about 1 a.m. And we know ideally it's not best to bring a new dog into an old dog's territory, but we kind of had no other option. And we also tossed around the idea of maybe waiting until the next day, so like just sleeping in separate rooms, but we knew that Sky would not be happy about that and she probably would not <laughs> sleep. So we just decided to let them meet. So at this point, we were really afraid that we just completely screwed up the beginning of their relationship and we were worried if they were even going to be able to live in the same house together. So we instantly separated them. I slept in the bedroom with Skye and then Kenny slept out here on the couch with Kakoa. It's also worth to mention that we had just started YouTube and so I wanted Rai to kind of film this video so we could try and capture this cute, wholesome moment that <laughs> we obviously did not get. But anyways, that's why she's filming and not helping me. Yeah. <laughs> but the next day, we reintroduced them outside the house on their first walk. Your first walk together. Kakoa, what do you think of your new sister? Go get her, Kakoas. So from this walk, it gave us that little bit of hope that we were going to be able to make things work. But back at the house, we still had to keep them completely separate for a couple more days. We slowly started to reintroduce them back in the house. We started giving them their food together or like closer together. <laughs> we started sleeping in the same bedroom and it took a couple weeks of Sky constantly being over aggressive with Kakoa <laughs> and Kakoa constantly hiding from Sky. But eventually they started to get closer together and it was all just a huge learning experience for all of us. Open up the windows, the world waits just outside for us. Something in the way that the wind blows, I know we're in luck. The best part of all this is that they couldn't be more perfect for each other. They're complete opposites, but that's just what, to me, makes them work so well. And it's just been so fun to watch them grow so close. Oh, oh, it's all happening now. Come reach for the sun.